7 o'clock now on this Monday night. We're beginning with an afternoon earthquake and an aftershock in Kershaw County. This is what we know. The earthquake today happened right around 220. It was measured as a 2.7 to begin with, but was upgraded to a 3.3. The aftershock, the first aftershock, happened around 540 this afternoon. It was measured at 2.5. We had a chance to catch up with a few residents to get their reaction to all of this. I was sitting outside when we was working on our truck, and uh, all of a sudden I felt this like big old rumble up under my feet, and a boom. It shook and I was ground. like, uh, it did. Hey, look, I thought it was tremors coming up out the ground. I'm not kidding. I thought the train though. Can't hey, be real. my son tried to tell me it was Fort Jackson. I said no, and then his grandma come running out and said, James, James, come here, come here. She done thought her heater done blew up. I mean, people done felt it from here all the way to Gaston. Yeah, yep, so yeah, yeah it was it was like crazy. It was a weird experience. I've been here since the 80s and never felt that experience. Yeah, me and my mom were at the Camden Bone and Joint doctor's office in Camden, and it was, you know, just a real sudden shake, boom, rattle, and uh, we didn't really feel it so much. And, and you know, I, I just sat there for a minute thinking it could have been thunder, but then I'm like, no, this this had to be something different. And at, at that minute, everybody started talking about an earthquake, and I'm like, you know what? That's exactly what it was. Well, residents in Columbia and as far away as Lexington, that's about 40 miles southwest of the epicenter, felt the quake. Uh, tonight, federal officials say two dozen earthquakes have been reported in South Carolina this year alone. One of those previous earthquakes happened a week ago today. It was a 1.1. It happened on December 20th. It was located near Ladson, about eight and a half miles south of Somerville. In late October, you may recall, there were seven earthquakes reported within a, week, within a week's time. The quakes all happened around the Monticello Reservoir near Jenkinsville in Fairfield County. That reservoir powers a hydroelectric plant and provides cooling water for the VC Summer Nuclear Facility. Now, earthquakes happen throughout the state of South Carolina, but most often happen near the coast. Approximately 70% of earthquakes in South Carolina happen in the coastal plain, with most happening in the low country around Somerville and Bowman. Back in 1886, Charleston was hit by a magnitude 7.3 earthquake. It was felt as far away as New York. At least 60 people died. Thousands of buildings were damaged. Structural damage extended several hundreds of miles to cities in Kentucky, Ohio, and in Alabama. Let's talk more about that earthquake now with our meteorologist, Daniel Bonds. He's joining us now. We mentioned there was an aftershock around 540 or so, but Daniel, late word that a second aftershock has just been recorded in that area, correct? Yeah, started getting more chatter on social media about a second aftershock and haven't got any confirmation from the U.S. Geological Survey or South Carolina Emergency Management as of yet, but it does look like a second aftershock did occur. It looks like, I put a question mark there, about 623 or so, but you certainly can tell from the seismograph image, there was the first earthquake and then you have those aftershocks at 2.5 and then another one as we mentioned we have not got official confirmation as of yet but it looks pretty pretty certain that there was another aftershock about 623 so here are the locations of those earthquakes so far again something we do see across South Carolina occasionally typically you don't feel these but at 3.3 they're often felt, and usually the smaller ones you usually don't feel, but you think about the one back to 1886. That was a major, major earthquake. We don't see things like that very typically here in South Carolina, but a major one back in 1886. But as far as tremors are concerned across the Midlands, not that big of a surprise. They're the what we assume to be the fault lines, the inferred fault lines, and then they're the yellow lines there. Those are the map fault lines, so they are the confirmed fault lines across the area. So we do have earthquakes as far as the weather's concerned though, pretty quiet. 59 degrees, mostly cloudy, a little bit of fog tonight and then for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies with high temperatures right around 78 degrees. We'll take a much closer look at your forecast. So coming up in just a few minutes, JR.